Hello all you kittens and crazy cats. It's time for Lil Sammy Storytime. Join Lil Sammy and I as we go on today's adventure. Rest your paws and park your tails because it's Lil Sammy Storytime. Funky Frog's Funk Band. Deep in the swampland, there lived a cheerful frog named Funky Frog. He had a love for music and a groove in his heart that couldn't be contained. One sunny day, Funky Frog gathered his friends, Croaky Crocodile, Jazzy Turtle, and Bumpy Toad, to form the most fantastic band in the swamp, Funky Frog's Funk Band. The swamp was buzzing with excitement as Funky Frog set up his stage. The friends were curious not quite sure what Funky Frog had in store for them. With a wink, Funky Frog picked up his guitar, strumming a funky tune that made the lily pads bounce. Croaky Crocodile tapped his claws on a log. Jazzy Turtle clapped his shell, and Bumpy Toad drummed on a rock. The swamp came alive with the groovy beats of funk. Funky Frog hopped to the front, his eyes shining with excitement. This is our Funky Frog's Funk Band. Let the music move you and let's dance together. At first, the friends were a bit unsure. They shuffled their feet, not quite catching the rhythm. But Funky Frog, with his infectious energy, showed them the steps. Feel the music in your heart, he croaked with a grin. And soon enough, Croaky Crocodile was swaying his tail, Jazzy Turtle was spinning in his shell, and Bumpy Toad was hopping with joy. The swamp turned into a dance floor, and Funky Frog's funk band played the grooviest tunes, making everyone tap their toes and move to the beat. As the day went on, the swamp animals joined the party. Fireflies flickered like disco lights, dragonflies twirled in the air, and even the wise old owl hooted along to the funky rhythm. However, as the sun began to set, a soft breeze carried a soft tune. Funky Frog noticed his friends looking a bit sad. What's wrong, my friends? He asked, his eyes filled with concern. Croaky Crocodile sighed. The fun will end when the sun goes down, and we'll miss the music. Funky Frog smiled. Don't worry, my friends. The music doesn't have to end. Let's create a song that the night itself will dance to. With a snap of his fingers and a flick of his tongue, Funky Frog composed a slow and soulful melody. The friends joined in creating a lullaby that made the night creatures sway and twirl. The moon, shining brightly, became the spotlight for Funky Frog's funk band. They played their soothing lullaby and the swamp animals, young and old, danced under the twinkling stars. As the night went on, the friends realized that the magic of music could bring joy at any time, day or night. The swamp echoed with the laughter and melodies of Funky Frog's funk band, creating a bond of friendship and music that would last forever. Funky Frog and his friends continued to play their funky tunes, inspiring everyone to dance and celebrate the joy of music. All thanks to the groovy beats of Funky Frog's funk band. Hello all you kittens and crazy cats, it's time for Lil Sammy Storytime. Join Lil Sammy and I as we go on today's adventure. Rest your paws and park your tails because it's Lil Sammy Storytime. A Lunar Lullaby Once upon a time, in a city surrounded by tall buildings and twinkling stars, there lived a teenager named Luna. Luna was a special teenager because she had a gift, the power to calm and control emotions. 
One night, as Luna walked through the busy city, she noticed people arguing and shouting. The air was tense and chaos seemed to be spreading like wildfire. Luna felt a gentle warmth in her heart and she realized it was time to use her special gift. With a soft hum, Luna began to sing a melody that echoed like a gentle breeze. Her voice carried a magical tune that touched the hearts of everyone around. As Luna sang, people started to feel a sense of calm washing over them. A group of friends were arguing about which game to play at the park. Luna's lullaby wrapped around them, and soon they were smiling, deciding to play a game that everyone enjoyed. Next. Luna came across a family having a disagreement about what to have for dinner. Her magical song danced through the air and the family decided to cook a meal together, creating a feast. As Luna strolled through the city, solving problems with her lunar lullaby, she met a particularly challenging situation. Two street performers were arguing over their spot each claiming it as their own. Luna stepped forward, her eyes glowing with calm determination. She started singing a gentle lullaby and a hush fell over the crowd. The street performers listened to Luna's song, feeling the peace seeping into their hearts. Soon, the performers were no longer arguing Instead, they decided to join forces and create a beautiful performance that delighted the entire city. The crowd cheered, grateful for Luna's magical touch. Word spread throughout the city about Luna and her incredible ability to calm emotions. People started seeking her out whenever problems came up, knowing that Luna's lullaby held the power to bring peace. One day, as Luna sat in the city park, a group of children approached her. They had been arguing over who got to use the swing, and their laughter had turned into tears. Luna smiled warmly and began to sing her lunar lullaby. The children, enchanted by the melody, found themselves giggling and sharing the swing without a hint of disagreement. The parents of the children, witnessing Luna's magical gift, gathered around and thanked her. They realized that in a city filled with hustle and bustle, Luna's lullaby had the power to create harmony and joy. From that day on, Luna became a beloved friend to all in the city. Her lunar lullaby echoed through the streets, turning chaos into calm and frowns into smiles. The city continued to thrive with the magic of Luna's lullaby, teaching everyone the importance of understanding, kindness, and the enchanting power of a soothing melody. Hello all you kittens and crazy cats! It's time for Lil Sammy Storytime! Join Lil Sammy and I as we go on today's adventure. Rest your paws and park your tails because it's Lil Sammy's story time. Once upon a time in a beautiful town, there were a group of little cats who loved going to school. In this town, school was a happy place where kittens giggled and played and the sun always shone brightly. One sunny morning, the teacher cat, Miss Whiskertail, gathered all her little students into the cozy classroom. There were fluffy pillows and soft blankets for the cats to sit on, and crayons and toys scattered around the room. The students were excited because today's activity was going to be their favorite, making art with colorful paints. Each cat had their own easel, brushes, and a rainbow of paint to choose from. Mittens, a sweet little cat with white fur and bright blue eyes, was especially eager to paint. She loved creating beautiful pictures with all the vibrant colors. 
As the kittens dipped their brushes into the pots and painted away, the classroom echoed with the sounds of laughter and joyful meows. Mittens happily painted a sunny scene with a big orange sun and a field of green grass. But as Mittens painted, the noise in the room started to grow louder and louder. The meows, giggles, and the sound of paintbrushes tapping on easels filled the air. Suddenly, it all became too much for Mittens. Overwhelmed by the noise, Mittens felt her eyes fill with tears. She tried to hide it at first, but soon a big, droopy tear rolled down her furry cheek. Miss Whiskertail noticed Mittens' distress. She gently approached Mittens and said, Oh, sweet Mittens, it's okay to feel a little overwhelmed. Let's find a way to make you feel better. Miss Whiskertail tried a few different things to help Mittens calm down. First, she gave her a soft hug and whispered comforting words. Then, she offered Mittens a cozy blanket to wrap around herself. But Mittens was still feeling a bit shaky. Miss Whiskertail had another idea. She gently told Mittens, Let's cover our ears, Mittens, and find a quiet spot in the room. Mittens nodded, and they both covered their ears with their paws. Together, they walked to a quiet corner of the classroom where Mittens could take a break from the noise. Miss Whiskertail sat with Mittens, and soon the room seemed much calmer. After a few moments, Mittens wiped away her tears and sniffled. Miss Whiskertail smiled and said, You did a great job calming down, Mittens. Next time you feel overwhelmed, just cover your ears and find a quiet spot. You can always take a little break. The next day, when the kittens were playing a lively game of tag on the playground, Mittens felt the noise building up again. Remembering Miss Whiskertail's advice, Mittens covered her ears, took a deep breath, and calmly walked to the quiet corner. She found a cozy spot and took a little break. Mittens closed her eyes, took a few deep breaths, and listened to the gentle hum of nature. After a few moments, she felt much better. From that day on, whenever Mittens felt overwhelmed, she knew just what to do. And with Miss Whiskertail's help, the little cat continued to enjoy all the fun and excitement of preschool, painting, and playing with her friends in the sunny, happy town. Hello, all you kittens and crazy cats. It's time for Lil' Sammy Storytime. Join Lil' Sammy and I as we go on today's adventure. Rest your paws and park your tails because it's Lil' Sammy Storytime. In the heartwarming town of Meowington, four little kittens, Whiskers, Mittens, Paws, and Fluffy were eagerly preparing for a special Thanksgiving celebration at the perfect preschool. The air was filled with excitement and the delightful scent of autumn. As they gathered in a cozy circle, Miss Whiskertail, their caring teacher, encouraged them to share what they were thankful for. Whiskers piped up, I'm thankful for my cozy bed and warm blankets. Mittens added, I'm thankful for my friends who make me smile every day. Paws chimed in, I'm thankful for tasty treats and fun playtimes. But when it was Fluffy's turn, she hesitated. Her whiskers drooped and she looked down at her paws. I don't know what I'm thankful for, she mumbled. Her friends, sensing Fluffy's uncertainty, gathered around her. Whiskers nudged her gently. Come on, Fluffy. There must be something you're thankful for. Fluffy thought for a moment and then shook her head. I can't think of anything. Mittens, with a warm smile, said, Let's think together. What makes you happy, Fluffy? Fluffy pondered, her eyes scanning the room. 
Suddenly, her face lit up. I'm thankful for the sunbeams that warm my fur and the gentle breeze that tickles my whiskers. Paws nodded. That's a good one, Fluffy. What else? Fluffy continued. I'm thankful for the cozy purrs that Miss Whiskertail sings during nap time. Whiskers grinned. See, Fluffy? You've got lots of things to be thankful for. But Fluffy still seemed unsure. I don't know if those are enough. Mittens, the ever-caring friend, reminded her. Fluffy, being thankful isn't about having the biggest or the fanciest things. It's about appreciating the little moments and the people or kitties around you. Paws agreed. Exactly, like the way we all help each other and share fun times together. Fluffy's eyes sparkled as she looked at her friends. You're right. I'm thankful for having such wonderful friends who help me see all the good things around me. Miss Whiskertail, who had been quietly listening, joined the circle. Fluffy, being thankful is a special feeling that warms our hearts. It's about appreciating what makes each day special, big or small. Fluffy nodded, a soft purr escaping her. I'm thankful for my friends, the sunbeams, the cozy purrs, and everything that makes each day special. The kittens shared a group hug, feeling the warmth of friendship and gratitude. As they continued to talk and laugh, Miss Whiskertail couldn't help but smile, knowing that the spirit of thankfulness had filled their hearts. And so, in Meowington, the four little kittens celebrated Thanksgiving, not just with a delicious feast, but also with the joy of being thankful for the simple and beautiful things that made each day a perfect treasure. Hello all you kittens and crazy cats. It's time for Lil Sammy Storytime. Join Lil Sammy and I as we go on today's adventure. Rest your paws and park your tails because it's Lil Sammy Storytime. The Floral Force. In a bustling city, there lived a superhero named Petal Girl. She had a special power, the ability to control plants. Petal Girl loved flowers and trees and spent her days tending to the city park, making sure it was a beautiful place for everyone. One sunny morning, as Petal Girl watered the flowers and sang to the birds, a rumbling sound echoed through the air. Dark clouds gathered, and a bulldozer approached the park, ready to tear down the trees and flowers. Petal Girl's heart sank. She knew she had to act quickly to save her beloved park. With a wave of her hand, she summoned the Floral Force, a group of plant friends ready to help her in times of need. The bulldozer roared, but Petal Girl stood her ground. Stop, she called out, her eyes glowing with determination. This park is home to many creatures. We must protect it. The construction workers paused, surprised by the talking flowers and the determined girl. But their boss, a grumpy man named Mr. Stone, just laughed. <laughs> I don't care about your flowers. This land is going to be a shopping mall, and that's final. Petal Girl thought quickly. She used her powers to create a beautiful vine wall, blocking the bulldozer's path. We can't let them destroy the park, she whispered to her plant friends. The floral force sprung into action. Ivy climbed up the bulldozer's tires, while sunflowers stood tall, blocking the driver's view. Petal Girl twirled her fingers, and vines wrapped around the construction equipment, making it impossible to move. 
the construction workers were amazed by the floral force's strength. They saw the beauty of the park and began to understand its importance. Even Mr. Stone couldn't help but smile at the colorful flowers surrounding him. Petal Girl approached Mr. Stone with kindness. Nature is precious and we need to protect it. Let's work together to find a better place for the shopping mall where the trees and flowers won't be harmed. Mr. Stone, touched by Petal Girl's words, agreed to reconsider the location. Together, they found a spot away from the park where a new shopping mall could be built without harming the environment. The floral force, with a joyful dance, celebrated their victory. Petal Girl thanked her plant friends for their help and they returned to their homes, content that the park was safe. From that day on, Petal Girl and Mr. Stone became unlikely friends. They worked together to create a beautiful, eco-friendly shopping mall. The city celebrated the success of the Floral Force, learning a valuable lesson about the importance of protecting our environment. The park grew and children played among the flowers, grateful for the superhero who taught them the strength of kindness and the power of nature. Petal Girl continued to watch over the city, ensuring that the floral force always bloomed brightly, reminding everyone of the magic and wonder found in the world around them. Hello all you kittens and crazy cats! It's time for Lil Sammy Storytime. Join Lil Sammy and I as we go on today's adventure. Rest your paws and park your tails because it's Lil Sammy Storytime. The Robot Rescue Mission. In the bustling town of Techtopia, where friendly robots assisted with daily tasks, a sudden glitch struck the mechanical helpers. The robots known for their helpfulness, started beeping and buzzing in confusion. To the rescue came a group of tech-savvy kids, Emma, Max, and Ava. Armed with curiosity and determination, they went on a robot rescue mission to learn the robot's language and fix the errors. The town square, once filled with the organized movements of robots, was now a chaotic dance of beeps and twirls. Emma, with her trusty toolbox, approached a confused robot named RoboBuddy. RoboBuddy's screen displayed a series of colorful symbols that made no sense. Don't worry, RoboBuddy. We'll figure this out, Emma said with a smile. Max, the master of codes, scanned the symbols and exclaimed, these symbols look like a secret code. Maybe the robots are trying to tell us something. Ava, the quick thinker of the group, suggested, Let's gather all the robots and see if there's a pattern. If we can understand their language, we can fix the errors. The kids gathered the broken robots in the town square, forming a circle of beeping and buzzing friends. Ava noticed a common pattern in the symbols displayed by each robot. I think we're on to something. It seems like each robot has a different way of expressing itself, Ava said, pointing to the different types of symbols on the screens. The kids huddled together, cracking the symbols and creating a translation guide. They discovered that the robots were communicating in a language of beeps, lights, and colorful symbols, expressing their emotions and needs. It was like a robot emoji language. With the translation guide in hand, the kids set out to fix the glitches. Emma, armed with her trusty screwdriver, tightened the loose bolts and circuits. Max, with his coding skills, reprogrammed misbehaving systems. Ava, with her problem-solving intuition, 
identified the root causes of the errors. One by one, the robots beeped in gratitude as they returned to their helpful selves. The town square transformed from chaos to order as the robots resumed their organized movements, assisting with tasks and chores. As a token of gratitude, the robots formed a line and performed a dance, creating a spectacle of beeping lights and spinning gears. The kids clapped and cheered, proud of their successful robot rescue mission. The mayor of Tectopia, a large robot with a wise voice, approached the kids and commended their teamwork and problem-solving skills. Thank you, Emma, Max, and Ava, for saving Tectopia! Your quick thinking and determination have restored order to our town, the mayor declared. The kids beamed with pride, knowing they had made a difference. The robots, now back to their helpful selves, formed a parade and marched through the town, expressing their gratitude in the colorful language the kids had learned to read. As the stars twinkled in the night sky, Tectopia went to sleep, with the rhythmic hum of happy robots echoing through the town.